Hello everyone. I will demo the Salesforce picklist metrics export extension today. As you see here, I'm on the account object in Salesforce. And this is the controlling field, which is called SLA. There is a dependent field upsell opportunity. As you see from this metrics, SLA has about 222 values in the pick list and upsell opportunity has approximately 54 values here. <clears throat> As you know that Salesforce does not provide a way to export this metrics for auditing or for documentation, but this extension would help you do that. You see here there is a green button. This is put in here by the extension. When you click this button, it will parse the metrics and a file would be available for download. It's a CSV file. The name of the file is the controlling field name hyphen the child field name. You can save the file. In the screen box, you would see any errors or the final output. As you see here, it says that the process has been completed. The data is copied to your clipboard and also downloaded as CSV file. You can consider donating for this app in the, by going to this link. Let's check what is there in the CSV file now. So here you would see that the first column is the controlling pick list field. Second column is the child pick list field. You can apply filters. And if I want to see what are the dependent pick list values for SLA 15, I see that there are 10 values. Similarly, you can do this export for various Salesforce environments and use VLOOKUP or other comparison methods for comparing the metrics. If you remember that the data was also copied to uh, to the clipboard, so I will show you that and you see here that the same data was also copied to your clipboard it's in a csv format so you can use any of the uh, excel features to turn this data csv data into columns such as text to columns Another feature which I would like to show you is the metrics itself. You see here view all button. Without this extension, if you click the view all button with these many fields, these many values, you'll get an alert that the matrix is quite big so it cannot be expanded. But with this extension, if you click the view all button, you would see the whole matrix in a single window. Be aware that if you if the page might hang when you click the view all button if there are many values and you would see an alert uh, similar to kill the page or wait for page to load. Keep clicking the wait for page to load until you have this page completely loaded successfully. If you like these apps you can go to this website salesforce product hunt and you would be able to see many of the browser extensions vs code extensions ssfdx plugins web apps salesforce native apps desktop apps which would help you be more productive while working with salesforce for example in the browser extensions we have better lists we have Salesforce Sandbox version, Salesforce debug log, schema, multi-login, and many others. Thank you.